Welcome to the JCMS Web Basic Training Video Tutorial Program. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add centers, work groups, and users in JCMS Web. Let's get started. Before I log in to JCMS Web, I'd like to explain the hierarchy of adding users. The top tier for adding users is called a center. You can create multiple centers within JCMS Web. A center is a grouping of workgroups who belong to the same organization. A workgroup is where you can add new and existing users. A user can only see data that is associated with their workgroup. If a user belongs to multiple workgroups, then they will see data from all workgroups they are a part of. Once a user is added, administrative privileges can be assigned. Admin privileges allow a user to add other users to its workgroup and also allows access to add and edit controlled vocabularies and setup variables. You will first log in as MTS Admin, which is the default super user that will allow you to add or edit anything in JCMS Web. Now I'll demonstrate how to add a user in JCMS Web. Log in to JCMS Web using MTS Admin. Once you're on the JCMS web homepage, click on the administration link in the top navigation or in the left navigation. Either link will take you to the same place. Once in administration, click on centers. You'll notice here that there's a default center. If I expand the center, you'll see that there's a default work group called My Lab and the default admin user MTS Admin. This comes with the JCMS database. Now I'll show you how to add centers. Click on Add Center, enter a center name, click Add. You'll see a message that states that once you create a center it cannot easily be undone. Click OK. you'll see that you have successfully added the center. Now if I click on Center Vid, you'll see that I can add a workgroup. Click on Add Workgroup and enter a workgroup name. Click Add. Once again, you'll see the warning message asking if you are sure you want to create this workgroup. Once you do this, it cannot easily be undone, and you'll have to have a database administrator do it for you. You'll see the workgroup has been successfully added. And you'll notice MTS Admin is already added to the new workgroup. Click on the workgroup name you just added. And here you'll be able to add a new user or an existing user. First I'll show you how to add a new user. Enter the new user first name, the new user's last name, the username, which is the login name, enter a password, and then verify the password. I'm going to make Jane an administrator, so click the administrator checkbox and click add. You'll notice now under workgroup WGVID, Jane Doe has been added. Now I'll add another new user. I'll add John Doe. So John first name, Doe last name, username will be JH Doe, and then I'll enter a password and verify that password. John will not be an administrator, so I'll leave the checkbox blank and click Add. So now I'm going to create another work group by clicking on the center name and I'll click add work group and enter another work group name. Click add. Again the message, once you create it, it cannot easily be undone. And if you click this little plus sign, it'll expand the work group. You'll see MTS Admin is already there. 
So I'll click on the workgroup underscore vid name and I'll add an existing user. You'll see MTS admin is listed here and you'll also see the two users that I added. So if I click on Jane Doe and add her and then I come back I can click on John Doe and add him. I can also make either user and administrator by clicking this checkbox. Click add. Now you'll see the center I created, the work group I created, the two users I created, then the second work group I created, and I added the two existing users to that work group. To delete a user or mark them inactive, click on the username. And here in the active checkbox, you can uncheck that to make them inactive. You can also change their password by clicking this box and entering a new password and then verifying the new password and then clicking update. You can also remove the user completely from the database by clicking the remove button. Now I'll log out and then log in as Jane and John to show you what it's like for a non-administrator and an administrator after logging in. You'll notice that Jane is an administrator, so she has access to all the functionality in JCMS Web, and she also has access to the administration link. Now, if I log in as John, you'll notice the only difference is the administration link is removed. John has access to all other functionality within JCMS Web. So that concludes our training on adding centers, workgroups, and users in JCMS Web. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at colonymanagement.jax.org.